It's March and this is the Library Road Show. On the show today, the present meets the past with a look at Huey P. Long. We'll have history, mystery, and more. Welcome to the March edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Mary Stein and this is a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Before we dip into the past, let's talk about the present. We've just finished tallying up last year's numbers and let me tell you, they are up, 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 and I really do mean up. We tracked increases in every category. Over 2.3 million visitors checked out more than 2.7 million things last year. That's an increase of more than 7.7%. And you asked more than a million reference questions and attended more than 13,500 programs and events. Then you came back for more with nonstop use of the collaborative study rooms at Maine and Fairwood and public meeting room use at every single branch. Computer use was up 20%. You logged in over a million times to the library's Wi-Fi, plus another 718,000 times on library computers. You noted more than five and a half million database sessions. That's a 51% jump. And you downloaded to our favorite overdrive and one-click audio services. Those went up 32%. But we didn't just wait for you to come to us. Bookmobiles made over 2,200 stops all over the parish, visiting early learning centers, preschools, retirement centers, and other community spaces. It's really you, our patrons, who are breaking records in every category. No matter how and where you use the library and its resources, we're proud to be a part of your lives. You can find out more details on the library's website, ebrpl.com. Free access to books, audio, and library resources are just a few of the benefits available to you when you get a library card. Need free access to a computer? You get that. Want free access to premium digital resources like Mango Languages and Lynda.com? You get that. Need to book a meeting space? You get that. Heck, you can even check out a telescope or use a digital printer with your library card. If you live in East Baton Rouge Parish, pick up your free library card from your local branch library today. Premium access to everything the library system has to offer is waiting for you. Did you know that the library is home to nearly half a million biographies? And they're all just waiting for you to explore. Adam St. Pierre joins us now to explain in the digital download. Working on a biography paper? Trying to find out what biographies are out there to assign? Or do you just want to know a bit more about Drew Brees? Well, for any of those, you should check out the library's newest source for biographical information, Biography Reference Center. We've got over 450,000 full-text biographies, including all of Biography Today and thousands of biographies not found anywhere else. You can't beat that. In Biography Reference Center, you can do a regular search or an advanced search, or you can search by categories like activists and reformers, musicians, inventors, TV personalities, or famous women. And it's all free with just your library card, to check out Biography Reference Center, head over to the digital library page at ebrpl.com. Thanks, Adam. Whether you're researching a paper, checking on background information for your next novel, or just solving the daily crossword, the Biography Resource Center is a great place to start. Fascinating figures from throughout history, from all over the world, to right here at home. And we've started off by searching for a certain governor of Louisiana. Kayla Perkins will head us in the right direction as she reports in from Beyond the Stacks. At the end of February, we kicked off the One Book, One Community program with a huge caucus-style party. We had great musical groups performing, activities for kids of all ages, including an old-fashioned cakewalk, debates on current events, and even a polling and voting table where you could let your voice be heard. The 2016 One Book, One Community campaign began with a kickoff party on Saturday, February 20th. The plaza outside the main library on Goodwood was buzzing with activity.
This is our kickoff for uh, the One Book, One Community. It's a great um, opportunity for us to all come together and for thousands of people across the parish to come together and share the experience of reading the same book. In this case, this year, we have a really exciting book, Kingfish, Lorraine F. Huey P. Long. It's written by Dr. Richard White. It's a great book. It's very accessible, but it tells about one of the most colorful times and one of the most uh, colorful figures, I think, in our, in our history. I think the Kingfish would be proud tonight because there's so much energy and vitality and people here are in the kickoff. Since this year's book is The Kingfish, the event had a 1930s political theme. We even hosted a mock ballot. Jugglers, face painters, and debaters mingled with members of the public, including Mr. Huey P. Long himself. So, Huey, tell us what we're doing here tonight. Well, tonight we are celebrating me, the Kingfish, and uh, I guess Kingfish the book by Richard White, which is a very, very good book, and it encapsulates everything that I did that was good for Louisiana. Nice work, Adam. The One Book, One Community effort is completely bringing together my spirit, all the great things that I've done for Louisiana, and will continue to do from beyond the grave. The One Book, One Community event includes special Huey-themed programming across the East Baton Rouge library system. Stop by your local branch library this month to see a full calendar. We had so much fun that night, and if you didn't get to participate, don't worry. There will be lots of activities happening at library branches all over the parish. Events are taking place nearly every day through the end of April. You can check out the entire list at the One Book, One Community Info Guide. And for other activities happening at the library branch near you, check out our website, www.ebrpl.com, or pick up a copy of our monthly newsletter, The Source. Thanks, Kayla. This was a great evening and it really let us kick off Kingfish in a big way. We're especially thankful for our co-sponsors at Form 35, the Up Alliance, and the Foundation for Historical Louisiana. And special shout outs to the Michael Foster Project and the Greater Baton Rouge Barbershop Chorus for getting us in the mood and to Raising Canes for quenching our thirst. We've scheduled a number of excellent programs related to Kingfish on March 9th, Author Richard White will be chatting with folks at Blue Bonnet in the morning, and professors Robert Mann, Carl Friedman, and Michael Martin will discuss Huey Long as seen in literature in the evening at the main library. Later on the Ides of March, political analyst and radio commentator Jim Inkster will share his thoughts on how Huey would manage in today's political arena plus movies, discussions, documentaries. It's all there on the library website at ebrpl.com. Stay right there. After the break, community volunteer Jerry Stark joins me for a chat right here on the Library Roadshow. Don't let E. coli mosh with your food. An estimated 3,000 Americans die from a foodborne illness each year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So always separate raw meat from vegetables. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. I guess sometimes things just happen. Devastating things. Your whole world changes in an instant. That's what happened to me the day my mother had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. Hi, I'm Sari Feldman, and I'm the president of the American Library Association. We need your help. In late October, the American Library Association will launch its new multi-year public awareness campaign, Libraries Transform. We need to let policymakers, stakeholders, and funders know that libraries are neither obsolete nor nice to have. Libraries are essential. We need your help to spread the message. Hang posters, send emails, post on social media. You can find out more by visiting libriestransform.org. Join me in showing the world that libraries transform.
put foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. <laughs> Sometimes all it takes to be a dad is remembering how to be a kid again. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. You're watching the March edition of the Library Roadshow, everything you need to know about your library system. A few years back, the library put on a special reading and discussion series called Building Common Ground. All the programs touch on civility and compassion, and we met the most wonderful people as a result. Library patron Jerry Stark was one of the attendees, and Jerry's gone on to not only anchor the Renew Book Club at the main library, but to also share her time and talents in a special program we call Crocheting Compassion. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, Mary. Thank, thank you for having well, me. Well, thanks for coming on. Now, Jerry, we're not talking about spinning straw into gold. How do you crochet compassion? Mary, this is a, an instance where really a, a book, reading a book can change your life. So after reading um, a book called Same Kind of Different as Me, mm -hmm. I was already a person who really um, loved to recycle. So all of a sudden I was amazed at the number of plastic bags that just never decompose in the landfill. Mm -hmm. And I had at the same time, the advocate ran a story about a group of women who were making um, sleeping mats for the homeless out of plastic grocery bags. Mm -hmm. Well, that was all it took. I was hooked. And so now, thank you to the library for um, inviting us to do this program with you. Well, this program really has gone in, and don't, don't think I didn't catch that pun that you were hooked. Uh, <laughs> so that's how you got into it. Let's see what they look like, because quite frankly, these are beautiful works of art when I see them. People can't believe that these are made out of plastic grocery bags. That's right, and those bags multiply like rabbits in your they house do. at night. So they do. you can't stuff all your trash bags with them. So this gives you a wonderful way to repurpose, and in, in fact, this is not just recycling, this is upcycling, isn't it? it it really is, Mary. And the thing about it is, um, while we're also recycling and repurposing, like you say, upcycling, it really is a wonderful thing for the homeless. They are so appreciative because it keeps them dry mm -hmm. from the ground, especially in these wet, rainy Louisiana days. And they're and lightweight. They're very lightweight. And it also keeps the um, gives them a little bit of a barrier of warmth from mm -hmm. the ground as well. So they're very appreciative when they receive these. Now, do you need any special skills? Can anybody do this? There are so many components to this. I am just an advocate of supporting people in whatever part of this project they like to do. This one mat is about 15 to 20 hours of labor. Wow, that's a lot of hours, but it's not just one person, is it? No, it's not. So we have people who take bags because you get them all scrunched up mm -hmm. from the grocery store. So we have people who flatten the bags and then there are others who cut the bags into the loops. Mm -hmm. Then there's the part of the project where we take the loops and then we tie them together to make the actual yarn. It, or it's like a giant yarn. ball of string well, by the time you're ready, it isn't is. it? It's it really is. cool. We've learned to not let it get too large because <laughs> we have to add it on at the end of crocheting one ball, we have mm -hmm. to add another on. Mm -hmm. So and then after that, it's the crocheting, which the prep work takes about half of the time, and the total time, and then the crocheting then is the about actual, the other yeah. half of the uh -huh. time. So, so what we've seen, because what you've actually done crocheting compassion workshops, and and then you have a regular series every yes. week, oh, every month at the main library and at some branches. Yes, Jones Creek. Um, 
there's a group of ladies, Jones Creek, Miss Yvonne Hull at Jones Creek mm -hmm. was really the person within the library system who invited me to come and offer this as a program at Jones Creek. So it began at Jones Creek with um, a group of ladies who we met t two mornings a month. Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of exploded from there because Claire DeLon with your wonderful social media department mm -hmm. came and took some pictures and posted it on Facebook and talked about our program. And that got so many responses that there was just an outpouring of people interested who would like to see it offered at other times mm -hmm. and at other branches. And that's how um, I came to the main branch Even as well. the teenagers are doing it. The teenagers love this. Mm -hmm. They can do it for community service sure. hours. And I'm happy to, to do that. To, but they also just enjoy doing it with sometimes with their family and sometimes with other teens. Right. It, it, it's a nice community, casual thing that you can do with your hands, have a social event, but also present something, make something that will have another life. And, and crocheting is an interesting skill to, to pick up. Everything old is new again. So in That's this right. making society, it's not all 3D printers. We go back to basics with crochet and some of the other hand skills. So people find out more by looking in the library newsletter, uh, yes. checking online social media. And I do have um, a Facebook page for Crochet Compassion now okay. where I post where the branch, where the uh, sessions are offered through the, throughout all the branches. So that's on your um, on our Facebook page and also on the library's website. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing your time and your talent. Um, you've actually turned a very simple library program into a community-wide ministry. After the break, we have book reviews with our youngest library patrons. All that and more coming up next. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. my son having trouble in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm tired of fighting with my son over his homework. Home, walk, restaurant, need a review? No, he's smart, but his mind wanders. Seven wonders of the world. Why don't you understand me? I do. I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. That single ember can ignite and destroy your home or even your community. You can't control where that ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. Welcome back to the March edition of the Library Roadshow. What are some of the local kids reading? Let's check in with Benjamin to find out. Hi, my name is Benjamin, and my favorite book is Star Wars. I like Star Wars because there are Sith and Jedi. Jedi because they are good, and I like Sith because they are bad. The holocrons are in a secret room, and the Sith 
get into the secret room and steal one of the holocrons. Here are what the two Sith look like and the holocron that they steal. If the Sith touches someone, it can turn into that person. My mom usually brings me to the library. It has all my favorite books. Thanks, Benjamin. I love to see what our youngest readers are up to. Stay right there. You're watching the Library Roadshow. Look at me. Hey. Raymond, look at Mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. Ooh. Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe it's a phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. The pressure is too much. I quit. I get it. I can do better. Just please, don't leave. Don't let your heart quit on you. Get your uncontrolled high blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. Welcome to Understood.org, a free online resource for parents of kids with learning and attention issues with personalized recommendations, tools, and daily access to experts to help your child thrive. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. How can I help my daughter with her reading? Searching for help with Dachshund reading. No. <laughs> Let me try. Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out words. Playing world music. What? I give up. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. My name is Melissa Easton, and I'm head of the Special Collections Department at the Baton Rouge Archive, located inside the main library on Goodwood, where history comes alive. Over the past 10 years, the East Baton Rouge Parish Library has been compiling the Advocate Obituary Index. This resource is an index of obituaries that appear in regional Baton Rouge newspapers. These spreadsheets are arranged chronologically, and then by the last name of the deceased. Each record contains the name of the deceased, the date of death, and then the date and page number of its location in the newspaper. It's not only an obituary index, the database provides population statistics, demographics like age and sex, population shifts, and more. And a majority of the records list burial locations as well. Currently, the index covers the years from 1952 to 1991, and there are more than 170,000 entries. This is an excellent resource for genealogists and history buffs alike. You can find the obituary index in the digital library located on the library's homepage at www.ebrpl.com. We're constantly adding new records, so check back often. You're watching the March edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. I've used this obituary index to help people locate their loved ones, not only here in town, but from all across the nation. And this index is available to you online so you can do research from the library or from your phone. But it's so much more fun to come in person to visit with the staff of Special Collections here at the Main Library on Goodwood. And it's free with your library card. To get your pages turning this month, I couldn't wait another minute to dive into Richard White's biographical work, Kingfish, The Reign of Huey P. Long.
Is he an outrageous demagogue or a charismatic visionary? From the moment he took office as governor in 1928 to the day an assassin's bullet cut him down in 1935, long wielded all but dictatorial control of the state of Louisiana. A man of shameless ambition and ruthless vindictiveness, long orchestrated elections, hired and fired thousands at will, and deployed the state militia as his personal police force. And yet, paradoxically, as governor and later as senator, Long arguably did more good for the state's poor and uneducated. Long knew he was destined for power and with cunning and crudity, Long crushed all his opposition and still won the adulation of the people. Pegged by President Roosevelt as one of the two most dangerous men in the country, Long organized a radical movement to redistribute money through the Share Our Wealth Society and Every Man a King platform. Many people have been enraptured with Long in both fictional and non-fictional mediums. With Robert Penn Warren's All the King's Men as one of the most famous adaptation of King's life in both film and novelized form. Robert Penn Warren's tale is an infamous retelling of Huey's life, which portrays the dramatic political rise and governorship of Willie Stark during the 1930s. The novel is narrated by Jack Burden, a political reporter who comes to work as Governor Stark's right-handed man. The film has been on the screen twice, once in an award-winning adaptation in 1949 and again in 2006. I suggest you pick up your copy of Kingfish or All the King's Men at a library near you and grab a copy of The Source. You can find a reading and discussion group and share in our wealth of programming. Everyone can be a king or a queen at your local library. And that's how the page turns. I've been reading all about the Long family. What a legacy. And then for fun, I was inspired by the Grammy Award winning musical Hamilton to delve into the life of Alexander Hamilton. When history's this interesting, who needs fiction? And now for today's contest. Visit the library's Facebook page at facebook.com slash ebrpl. I want you to put your best peep forward and show off your own version of the Kingfish. That's facebook.com slash ebrpl. And while you're there, enjoy. We're not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Roadshow next month? A special visit from Huey Long himself. He's flying in from Reno. Tune in next month. I'll be checking in with 1,000 books before kindergarten. And next month, I'll introduce you to a new resource in the digital library. And I'll be on the bookmobile getting ready for Live After Five. Thanks so much for joining us on the Library Roadshow. And remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week at each and every one of 14 branches, plus 24-7 on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com. Connor is struggling in school. Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. Why don't you understand me? I do. This is what it feels like for kids with learning and attention issues. Redirecting to understood.org.